This tutorial explains how to download a file from the internet to a CSV file using the download.file function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the URL that we can store in line three of the code. So in this line of code, I'm specifying a character string which is a URL to a CSV file. So as you can see, at the end of this URL, we have the ending .csv, which indicates that this file is a CSV file that we can download from this link. So if you run line three of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called URL. And this data object contains a character string with a link to our file. In the next step, I need to specify at which location on my computer I want to store this file. And we can do that as you can see in line six of the code. So in this line of code, I'm specifying the path to a working directory on my computer. And I'm specifying the name of the file that I want to use. So in this case, I want to store a CSV file, which is called output.csv in a directory on the desktop of my computer, which is called my directory. And if you have a look at this directory, you can see at this point, the directory is empty. So in the next step, we can use the download.file function, as you can see in line nine of the code. And within this function, we need to specify the URL that we have specified before and the test file that we have also specified before. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that an error message is returned and this is because I forgot to run line six of the code. So of course, first we have to run line six of the code and then you can see at the top right that our test file data object has been created. And then once again, I'm running line nine of the code and then you can see that our data is downloaded. And after running this line of code, we can check our working directory once again. And as you can see, now we have stored a file in our working directory, which is called output. And we can open this file to see our data. And as you can see, our data has been stored in this output file. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.